So let's say you were to go to a restaurant, and just out of curiosity, you want to see what what the makeup of the ages at the restaurant are. So you go around the restaurant, and you write down everyone's age. And so these are the ages of everyone in the restaurant at that moment. And so you're interested in in somehow presenting this, somehow visualizing the distribution of the ages, because you want to just say, well, are there more young people? Are there more teenagers? Are there more middle-aged people? Are there more seniors here? And so when you just look at these numbers, it really doesn't give you a good sense of it. It's just a bunch of numbers. And so how could you do that? Well, one way to think about it is is to put these ages into different buckets, and then to think about how many people are there in each of those buckets, or sometimes someone might say, how many in each of those bins. So let's let's do that. So let's do buckets or categories. So I like sometimes it's called a bin. So the bucket I like to think of it more of as a bucket. The bucket and then the number in the bucket. The number in the bucket. Number. I'll just write the number. Whoops. It's the whoops. It's the number. It's the number in the bucket. All right. So let's just make buckets. Let's make them ten-year ranges. So let's say the first one is ages zero to nine. So how many people? And let me just define all of the buckets here. So the next one is ages ten to nineteen, then twenty to twenty-nine, then thirty to thirty-nine, and forty to forty-nine, fifty to fifty-nine. Let me make sure you can read that properly. And then you have sixty. To 69, and I think that covers everyone. I don't see anyone 70 years old or older here. So then, how many people fall into the zero to nine-year-old bucket? Well, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six people fall into that bucket. How many people fall into the? How many people fall into the 10 to 19-year-old bucket? Well, let's see. One, two, three. Three people, and I think you see where this is going. What about twenty to twenty-nine? So it's one, two, three, four, five people. Five people fall into that bucket. All right. What about thirty to thirty-nine? We have one, and that's it. Only one person in that thirty to thirty-nine bin or bucket or category. All right. What about forty to forty-nine? We have one, two people. Two people are in that bucket, and then fifty to fifty-nine. So you have one, two people, two people, and then finally, finally, ages sixty to sixty-nine. Let me get a different color. Sixty to sixty-nine. There is one person right over there. So this is one way of thinking about how the ages are distributed. But let's actually make a a a a, a, a A visualization of this, and the visualization that we're going to create. This is called a histogram. 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 We're taking data that can take on a whole bunch of different values. We're putting them into categories, and we're going to plot how many how many folks are in each category. How big are each of those? How big are each of those categories? And actually, I wrote histogram. I wrote histograph. I should have written histogram. So a histogram. So let's do this. All right. So on this axis, let's see. The largest category has six. So this is the number, number of folks, and it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the number. And on this axis, I'm going to make the buckets, the buckets. And let me scroll up a little bit. Now that I have my data here, I don't have to look at my data set again. So I have one bucket. This is going to be the zero to nine bucket, right over here, zero to nine. Then I'm going to have the three. Actually, let me just plot them since I have my pen that color. So in zero to nine, there are six people. Zero to nine, there are six people. So I'll just plot it like that. And then we have the ten to nineteen. There are three people. So ten to nineteen, there are three people. So I'll do a bar like this. Then twenty to twenty-nine, I have five people. Twenty to twenty-nine, which is going to be this one. Actually, it's getting. I'm writing too big. So twenty to twenty-nine, this is going to be this bar. There's five people. 
five people there. So it'll look like this. I should have made the bars wide enough so I could write below them, but I've already, that train has already left. <laughs> All right. All right, then 30 to 39. I'll try to write smaller. 30 to 39. That's going to be this bar right over here. We have one person. One person. And then we have 40 to 49. We have two people. 40 to 49. Two people. So it looks like this. 40 to 49, two people. Almost there. 50 to 59. We have two people. 50 to 59. We also have two people. So that's that right over there. That's this category. And then finally, 60 to 69, we have one person. 60 to 69, we have one person. We have one person. And what I have just constructed, I took our data. I took our data. I put it into buckets that are kind of representative of the categories I care about. Zero to nine is kind of young kids, 10 to 19, I guess you could call them adolescents or roughly teenagers, although obviously if you're 10, you're not quite a teenager yet. And then all the different age groups. And then when I, I counted the number in each bucket and I, and I plotted it, now I can visually get a sense of how are the ages distributed in this restaurant. This must be some type of a, a restaurant that gives away toys or something because there's a lot of younger people. Maybe it's very family friendly. So every adult that comes in, maybe there's a lot of a young adults with, with kids and or maybe grandparents up here and they just bring a lot of kids to this restaurant. So it gives you a view of what's going on here. Just a lot of kids here, a lot fewer senior citizens. So once again, this is just a way of visualizing things. We took a lot of data that can take multiple data points. Instead of plotting each data point, like we might do in a dot plot, instead of saying, how many one-year-olds are there? Well, there's only one one-year-old. How many three-year-olds are there? There's only one three-year-old. That wouldn't give us much information. We would just have like these single dots if we were doing a dot plot. But as a histogram, we're able to put them into buckets. And we're just like, hey, you know, generally between ages zero and nine, we have six people. And so you see that plotted out just like that. And obviously, this doesn't apply just to ages of people in a restaurant. It applies to all sorts of data that you might want to collect and observe.